how to get the best candidates on board. This is a video very important for that people who apply for a job at body time or in any field of personal trainer. And of course, for the business owners. Guys, it's very simple. If, if, if you understood one simple thing, you need to understand also your candidate who is coming at the interview. There is different candidates. There are people who are self-convinced and they understood one thing. I can work on commission. I know I can do something with commission. I can reach my targets. I can reach high income by getting a high commission. They are not looking for a high basic, but there are also some candidates and these candidates are going to make us some headache. That candidates who are saying, I need a higher basic. So the question is why he need a higher basic? That means that he feels safe and secure that he have every month the money he needs without struggling and bringing that performance what maybe you are looking for. Even if you have one guy who is maybe a good candidate and want to have a higher basic salary, let me give you an advice what you can do in Dubai. So let's say you want to have a basic of 7,000 dirhams, 5,000 is not enough, or 10,000 dirhams. You can give it to him, but be fair and explain him that he also understood because he never called the labor office and asked about his rights and how the system is working in the city where he is living. So the point is, I can tell you one thing from the beginning and that's what you need to explain to each candidate and each candidate who's watching this video have to understood also one thing. For us, it's one thing important. The results with our clients, because if our clients have results and you are bringing that performance, you have the motivational skills to hook him and to motivate him to get started and to continue ongoing with you, you will make money because money will come to you. But if you cannot do that and explain why it's not working, so listen guys, there is no excuse because people want to look good nowadays, more and more, and fitness becomes more important and EMS training is actually a very big trend. Thousands of studios worldwide open more and more and that's the future of fitness for that people who understood it already and for that people who didn't understood it already, they will see in future that this is the future of fitness. So let's go back reframe our thoughts and let's get started to understood how to bring that candidates on board even if they want to have a higher basic salary. So from my point of view, I understood this guys. They need some security. They think they are so good and they want to have a higher basic salary. Okay, give it to them, but explain them. Listen, even if you have a 15,000 dirham basic salary, you have to know one thing. We can fire you tomorrow and you have zero dirham. And you have a higher target, what you need to reach. You need to train more customers. You have to have more active customers because you have a higher expense for the company. 15,000, of course, never ever we can give as a basic. But we can give 5,000, 7,000, 9,000 dirhams, 10,000 max. But if you have a 10,000 dirham, he needs to train like, let's say, between 1,700 customers ongoing to have continuously 70 to 100 customers. Okay, so one customer a week, it's doable, but you have to work more than eight hours. You have to be a very tough guy, and this is not possible from the law to work more than eight hours. You are not a freelancer. If you are a freelancer or your own business, then you can do it. So it's not making sense to go for 10,000, but let's say 7,000 dirhams, then your target will be like, let's say, around about 40 to 50 customers. It's doable. 40 to 50 customers a week divided by six days. It's like seven to eight trainings maybe a, a day. Seven to eight trainings a day. Every 30 minutes, one training, four hours max. So it's really doable. You can manage your time. You can do double session with two customers in the same time, like a couple or two friends and stuff. Then it's half of the time, just two hours. So yes, you can manage your time and you can do it. And that's the point what you need to understand. If you have a 7,000 basic, you have to bring that performance and we have to be fair. In the probation period, we can put a probation period from one to six months. We can put six months and then you can see if he's performing. If not, you can finish immediately without paying any fine because the rule is simple. Unlimited contract, 
or limited contract. Unlimited is so simple. If you have unlimited contract, both parties can quit any time, even after the probation period. Limited contract, that's why it's called limited, it's different. And there when you put, for example, 7,000 basic, what is motivational for a lot of trainers, we can give that, but it's not secure for you guys as a trainer because you don't understand one thing. Even if you have 7,000 dirham, during the probation period, we can quit any time. If you see first month not, second month not, third month not, it's not making sense. And even in the first week, in the first two weeks, you can see if you hit your targets, if you reach to that income, what you need to reach. Because let's say you have a target to reach 30,000 dirhams in one month. So that means in two weeks, you have to hit already the 50K. So that means 30,000 in one month, it's 1,000 every day. In two days, already 2,000 dirhams. In five days, 5,000. So after five days, we can say already, hey, it's not working. We have to make your basic lower. And then we have to do that. And we will do that. So that's the point. It's about you, which performance you bring and which results you can bring. It depends just on you. You can have a higher basic, but you have much more pressure. So that's why I recommend you guys don't go for a higher basic. And for the business owners also to protect both parties, employee and yourself, I recommend always one thing in Dubai. The basics salary, just do it as mentioned now. You put a basic salary like, if you want to give a 5,000 total, split it, 2,500 basic salary, 1,500 accommodation or 2,000 accommodation and 500 food allowance and 500 transportation. And however, you can split it to 5,000. You can put some allowance, go to the labor office, to a Tashil center, get an offer letter, you see all the breakdowns, the points, what you can mention in a contract that is like 5,000 total or 7,000 total and make a breakdown because we have always one problem. When it comes that one party not agree with the other party and want to leave after the probation period in a limited contract. In an unlimited contract, doesn't matter, you can leave anytime, but in a limited. After the probation period, okay, you can give first warning letter as a business owner. One month later, the second one. Have to be always 30 days in between. And after two months, you give the third one with direct termination. So you can cancel any time direct after two months. But if you want to cancel now, today, because you have a very lazy, with very bad attitude, very rude employee, and he's just disturbing the business for your customers, for yourself, for the other employees, and is damaging your business and it's just a risk. What you can do in this case, you can fire him directly, but then you have to pay a three months penalty. That means three by four. 5,000 dirhams, 5,000 dirhams. Okay, that can hurt. It's a lot of money. Even him, if you wanna leave, you have a 1.5 months penalty. That means 7,500 he needs to pay. That's why if you put the basic higher, it's a higher penalty. But if you make the split to be 2,500 basic plus allowance, so then you will calculate it not from 5,000, just from 2,500 and that's better. So that's why I recommend also to make this part, to make a split and not give just 5,000 basic, because then you are more secure. And the most important thing is to make an atmosphere between the trainer and the company who is not forcing them to work together because of a contract. That's why, by the end, an unlimited contract is also really something very good and positive because both parties can stop any time. But if you have a good employee and you want to keep him, but it's also not making sense because if he's not happy, why to keep him? Let's think positive and by the end, I think that's what matters most and you know, that's what always wins. There's no fight. An unlimited contract, both parties don't have any headache. So that's it and that's all about the salary model in UAE, in a personal trainer business, how I recommend to do that. And that's from my point of view, the most important aspects, of course, you can go much more deeper inside and know more about these things. And uh, if you don't know everything 100% safe for yourself, guys, do yourself a favor. Go on Google, write labor office, Dubai or UAE. You're getting the 800 labor number. I think it's 860 or something like that. And just call there and they have a 24 hour amazing service and ask them, get your information and then you know exactly how to proceed. That's so simple. Just do it and you are 
on the safe way. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my videos, just get subscribed on my YouTube channel here, Facebook and Instagram to be up to date with my latest news and latest posts about health and wealth. And if you have any questions, just comment below. I'm happy to answer you guys.